Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you my everyday makeup drawer for June. So in these videos, I go through my makeup collection. I pick out products that are older that I want to see if I still like. And then I also pick out products that are new in my collection that I want to test out for the month and let you guys know my thoughts about them in the next month's video. So I will also be recapping um, the products that I picked out for May and let you guys know my thoughts about those. But if you guys want to see what products I'm going to be picking out for June and getting into summer, then just keep on watching. Alright, so here are all the products that I had in my drawer for May. Some are products that I'm still trying to hit pan on and get rid of and use up. Um, and then some are products that I've just had in here for about six weeks now. Um, I always keep my two powders that I use every day in here. My Too Faced Born This Way and Laura Mercier Glow. But other than that, everything's kind of been rotated in. I've been really into this powder from Estee Lauder. This is called their Double Wear Stay in Place. There we go. Double Wear Stay in Place Matte Powder. I wear the shade 2W2. I could probably go up a shade, um, but I normally wear this like on my T-zone, so areas that I usually highlight anyways. Really nice mattifying foundation powder it looks like pretty yellow but i do have like a really warm <laughs> complexion uh, but really really like that if you guys are looking for a new like powder foundation this cover effects primer i've honestly barely used because i was finishing up another primer that i actually got rid of it was the bare minerals good hydrations primer loved that primer um so i really haven't used this at all and then i have another primer that i've been using and i've been wanting to use up too this is the smashbox Primerizer primer. I think I'm just gonna leave this in here for the summer and try to use it up this summer I only have I should actually be able to finish it up maybe by the end of July So I will leave this in here for the next month or so all of these cover effects palettes are Awesome. I think I put three in here. All right So these are the three that I had in my drawer for the month. This one is soft peach This one is my favorite blush duo and then the bottom one is warm honey Which is definitely more of like a mauve kind of shade and then sunkiss bronze is the bronzer It's my favorite. I just mix these together. That's how I do it Like I'll just mix both together usually because I like like a shimmery bronzer and a shimmery blush So these are super creamy super buttery. I have a review and swatch video on all eight on my channel in case you guys are curious to contour i've been using the kevin aquan contour book volume two i think i'm going to keep this in this drawer until i use up this entire shade which will probably be by the end of the summer like i've made a serious dent in it in the past month this is like the best contour shade i have a bunch of palettes from kevin aquan and i think they have like this shade or like a very very similar shade to this but it's not just the color it's the formula and then with the color, it is um, more neutral, so it doesn't look too harsh or too gray. The formula is very um, creamy, so it feels or it looks like um, natural contour, and it doesn't look just like powder sitting on your skin. So I'm going to keep this in here for the summer, use this all the way up, and then I'm probably going to declutter the rest of the palette. I'm pretty sure like the creams are old. I don't wear the eyeshadows in here. But absolutely recommend contour palettes from Kevin Kwan. They are so amazing. I've also been trying to finish up Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer, one of my Holy Grail bronzers. Almost done with it. Should finish it up in the next um, month or so. Super awesome bronzer. But I also have this one that I got during the Sephora VIB sale. This is the Too Faced Less Natural Less Bronzer. This is huge. This is awesome as well. I actually used the Cover FX bronzer a bit more than this one, but this is also gorgeous. It smells like coconut. Um, it's a bit more warm than sweet tea. It's a little bit orangey, but not in a bad way, more in like a sun kiss way. Um, and sweet tea is a little bit more neutral, so you guys know. And this one's actually a little bit of a deeper shade. Let me just show you a swatch. All right, so this is Too Faced Natural Lust, which is the new release from Too Faced. And then on top is Too Faced Sweet Tea, so you can see sweet tea is definitely a lighter tone, a little bit more neutral. Natural Lust is definitely more warm. Love them both. Amazing formula. Super, um like shimmery and satin and uh, really creamy formulas. And then love this so much. Anastasia Beverly Hills, the So Hollywood Highlighter, Loose Highlighter. It's awesome, I've been loving this. I've been reaching for this a lot and I normally don't um, love loose highlighters but lately I've been really into them. 
Love this shade, love this formula. Here is the swatch. It looks like straight glitter on my hand and I think it's just because I put like, I packed it on. Um, but it doesn't look like that on your skin. It just looks like very, very shimmery. It doesn't look like chunky or anything. So absolutely love this super pigmented, gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It goes with like any makeup look because it is kind of gold but not like, um, a super yellowy gold, it's pretty neutral. Are you getting into some foundation? So I have been trying to declutter my NARS. It looks like it's almost all the way used up. NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Should totally use this up by the end of the month. Um, so I say this in every video, but this is a shade that I got that was like four shades too light for me. I don't know why I did that, but here we are. <laughs> Um, and then this is a Lancome foundation that they sent me. They sent me a couple shades and then this one is like one that's too deep for me on its own. So I mix these together. I really like this foundation on its own too. It's like long wearing, matte, good coverage. Another foundation that I have in here that I absolutely love is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. And right now, this is kind of like my winter shade in the shade um, Warm Natural 12. Um, when I repurchase, I definitely want to go up a shade, um, but really love this foundation. It's something that like makes your skin look really flawless. It blurs out texture. It's really matte. It's a great summer foundation. So I use this and I mix it with a little bit of the Lancome foundation just to deepen it up slightly since the shade's kind of light for me. Um, but those are the ones that I've been using. I'm also, I'm going to put my Pure Cosmetics foundation in here because that's the one that I reach for the most right now, and I'm just going to finish that up <laughs> because I love it so much. Um, almost done with a Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer. It might be maybe the only concealer I use for June. We'll see. Um, well, I also have the NARS one in here, but I just love the Too Faced one so much that... I'd rather use my favorite than use one that I just like. And I actually really like the NARS one a lot, but I love the Too Faced one. So um, I've been reaching for this every single day for the past month. I should have palettes. So the Too Faced Semi Sweet Palette, I used it more so on days that I'm doing like no makeup makeup or minimal makeup, which is actually most days. So what I'll do is I'll just take some of these like matte shades put those in my crease, and then maybe not even do like a lid color and just apply this all over my brow bone or apply this on my lid just like lightly and just do a really simple like two shadow look. So I've been liking this, but I'm not using it to do super creative looks or anything like that. I feel like there's more um, foiled formulas out there for that, but for everyday neutral looks, really like that palette. Um, the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered. I actually really, really like this palette. I was wearing it a ton this month. Every time you guys saw me wearing um, like purpley or pink rose gold eye makeup, I was probably wearing this palette um, for the past, yeah, for the past month. Gorgeous shades. All of this, it's all messy because I've been using it a ton recently. Um, they're so pigmented, foiled, standout colors. Um, I don't have a lot of Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes, but this is, well, out of the three, this is my favorite. <laughs> so really like that one. Um, and that's basically everything. I just probably need to declutter some of these lip products back here. And yeah, that's going to be everything so far. Some products that I've... Still going to keep in here to um, use up throughout the summer, and then I'm going to switch most of them out. Alright, so getting into uh, blushes, highlighters, bronzers, everything of that sort. Oh, I know what I want to pick out. So I got this in an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is Ofra Cosmetics. This is Rodeo Drive. I've never tried out this highlighter. I have a feeling this is so pretty. Like, I haven't even swatched it. It looks gorgeous. I have a feeling this is going to be one of my favorite highlighters because I do have, like, the old packaging of Ofra highlighters, and I actually really, really like it. Um, but I'm so excited for Rodeo Drive. I keep forgetting that I have this, so I definitely want to use this this month. Um, that's probably going to be, like, the only highlighter I pick out. Let's see... I'm probably going to actually pick a highlighter palette because I do have a bunch of new face palettes in my collection. And then next, this is one of my favorites for summer. It has been for like the last two summers. Sunkissed from Makeup Geek. This is a bronzer. It looks like very warm on camera, but this is actually a pretty neutral shade. This is going to be another um, shade that I use to contour on days that 
I'm doing really, really light makeup. So the Kevin Aquan one is definitely a li little bit more dramatic. It's definitely darker. So I'm going to use this more so when I'm doing like five minute makeup. Really love the formula of the Makeup Geek bronzers. Very creamy, very pigmented. And I also want to use all of these new highlighters and blushes. They're liquids um, from Charlotte Tilbury. I mentioned these in my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm collection video. I've been using the Glowgasm palette a ton, um, but I haven't used these as much as I've wanted to because I've been trying out a bunch of new face products recently. So I really want to get into some like liquid blushes because when I was using these, really like the formula of it and I feel like I can get into that habit of using more liquid products since I've been more into like cream products as well lately. Alright, so I've definitely had this in my drawer in like March or April, but honestly let's just go all in with Milani Luminoso. It's summertime, it's prime time for Milani Luminoso, so I don't want to put it away for summer. I'm actually going to probably wear this all summer long. I almost have to go out of my way to use some other blushes recently because this is the one that goes with like every look that I tend to do day to day for summer. So love it. I love that like sun kiss, like bronzy nude blush. And I think that's going to be it because I do have a bunch of like face palettes getting into foundations. Uh, I told you guys like two or three months ago that I'm going to do um, a declutter and I don't know so much that I need to do a declutter, but definitely a reorganization. So if you guys have suggestions or can uh, like link brands or something that is fits in an Alex drawer that isn't like a hundred bucks, because every time I look on Amazon or some website for some kind of storage, it's really expensive. So something around like $20 or so where I can just reorganize everything. Um, that would be super helpful and I would love to make a reorganization video because I want this to be way more aesthetically pleasing and not Stressful to look at. Okay, so oh, let's do this Charlotte Tilbury. This is an awesome one for summer the light wonder foundation Really lightweight um, It's one of those that gives light coverage, but it has like light reflecting particles that helps I don't like the word particle, it, feels, it sounds weird. But light reflecting properties that help blur texture and just make your skin look like naturally radiant. So definitely gonna use this up, not use it up, but use it. <laughs> then we have, okay, let me tell you guys because I didn't do a favorites video this month and I'll mention some of my favorites right now. So first of all, Pure Cosmetics, I'm just going to put this in my drawer because realistically I'm going to use this every day um, along with the other foundation that I have right now that I'm trying to use up and declutter. But this, for summer, there's I don't want to use anything else because it's matte, it's full coverage. No matter how hot it is, like my whole body can be sweating and this stays on my face without like losing looking flawless all day basically. This is the best foundation I've tried out this year. It's one of the best ever to me personally. <laughs> I love it so much and I actually have drier skin um, and I actually live in drier-ish weather. I live in LA and I don't find that it dries me out. It's super, super comfortable. Love this, like I'm so passionate about that foundation. Okay, let me tell you also, I freaking love this. <laughs> Um, Kylie Skin, I so I reviewed all the Kylie Skin products. I actually use, I've been using the cleanser every single day and the toner as well. And then also this as my primer a ton. I'll use a regular moisturizer serum um, and I've actually been using a different eye cream, my Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright eye cream during the daytime. And then I go in with this as my primer and as a primer, I absolutely love this stuff. As a moisturizer, I feel like I need something that just like sinks into my skin more. But this as a primer, so good because it blurs out your pores and it's really great under foundation. It's kind of matte too, like it's hydrating and matte at the same time. So this has been great. I've had it for about a month at this point and I've been using it so much <laughs> um, and I really, really like it. So that's, believe it or not, one of my favorites this summer. Um, like I'm surprised myself because I didn't expect to have like Kylie Cosmetics or Kylie Skin in my favorite since a lot of people were um, skeptical about it. And then I also haven't even gotten a chance to try this and that's because I've been using the Kylie Skin moisturizer every day. But this is a primer I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus last month. So I definitely want to use this as well from the brand Yensa. 
and it's the Essential Glow um, Primer. Let me actually pull out their BB Cream. Really like their BB Cream a lot. Not a lot of product in here, and I don't know if it's that's how it came or I just used it a lot and I didn't realize how much I used. But um, I should actually definitely use this this summer because I forgot that it has SPF 40. Really, really nice coverage, moisturizing. It actually smells kind of like black tea, like a little bit herbally. Um, I really, really like this. It's a really nice BB cream. Um, I don't, I don't remember how I feel about the It Cosmetics CC cream. I tried it like five years ago, so I can't compare it technically, but I would think it's kind of similar to that. Oh, and I also did want to pick out um, this concealer for the month as well because it's been a little while since I used this, the um, new-ish ELF 16 Hour Camo Concealer Focus. Okay, there we go. Um, I wear the shade Medium Sand. I haven't worn this in a little while, so I definitely want to use it again. I've just been trying to use on my Too Faced concealer, and I think once I use it up in the next like week or two, then I'm going to switch to this concealer for the rest of the month. Alright, that is everything for foundations, primers, concealers in here. Oh, let's go with this. The... Wonder Beauty Wonderless Palette. This was in BoxyCharm like two or three months ago. Really like this color scheme. I used it actually for the first time this past week. Really, really like these shades a lot. And I definitely want, I want to do an eye look with this shade and see how I feel about it. I do wish there was, I wish this was more of a complete palette, but it's definitely more of just shimmers. So I'm going to use that one. I actually used it with my natural matte palette the other day. Some random... Wet and Wild Trios randomly in there, but let's see what else. Let's also pull out Natasha Denona Gold Palette because I did purchase the Sunrise Palette. I should get that in the next few days. And I want to use it in combination with this, with some of the mattes or some of the shimmers. Use them together. Just do like a whole Natasha Denona eyeshadow month. So I'm going to pull that one aside as well. All right, lastly, getting into some face palettes. So I've been using like a bunch of my new palettes recently. Um, Dominique Cosmetics Prisma Glow. This is another one that's my favorite this month. Um, I did a review and everything about a month ago. Um, still totally obsessed with this palette. It's awesome. Um, definitely deeper highlighter shades. If you have their skin, they are going to show up a bit deeper. But really love the formula. Really pigmented. Awesome, awesome palette. I've been using Glowgasm from Charlotte Tilbury a ton as well. All four shades in here. Really, really like that palette. Um, really like Natasha Denona Tan. I want to, I think I'm going to go with Natasha Denona Tan because I think I've been using these two a little bit more. Like I'll use kind of like a combination of everything, but I mostly just use right now the um, highlight. I've been using this shade a ton, but I want to get um, into like all four shades a little bit more, especially the bronzer shade because it's super pretty as well. So I'm going to pull that one for the month, but just know like all of these face palettes I reviewed recently, I've been kind of just like rotating between them all. Alright guys, so that is everything for my everyday makeup drawer for June. I have some of the products that I was using last month back here and then all the newer products I just want in front of me. Um, the foundations that I'm trying to declutter are right underneath there. I know I'm getting a little crazy with how many foundations I have in here, but I just want to remember to use up the ones that I'm trying to use up. <laughs> um, but that is everything for this video. I am going to be traveling this week. I'm going to try to do a um, what's in my travel makeup bag video next. Um, if I don't have time to do that before my flight, I will share on Instagram stories if you guys want to see what um, I bring with me for traveling. I'm going to be going to a wedding, so maybe that's helpful as well. But that's everything for today. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.